Here's something you should seriously consider when framing a home near the ocean. And that, of course, would be using galvanized nails and galvanized nuts and galvanized bolts, foundation bolts, um, hardware nuts, you name it, um, this is what's going to happen. You are going to have nails rust. You are going to have your wood stain, which obviously the staining, so this is all going to get covered up. But this is one of those things I don't think people really give a lot of thought to. They might in the future, might actually be a building code in the future. And who knows, maybe some architects and engineers will, will actually request this. And here you can actually see you know, and I, I'm guessing that this house is probably, um, I don't know, let's just say it's a month into it, maybe. Let, let's just say it's two months into it. But I, I don't think this thing, I don't think it would have taken them more than, I don't know, six weeks to get to where they are here, you know. And again, let's just say it's two months. Let's just say it's four months. Look at the rust and the corrosion. Um, on these uh, bolts that are not treated. They're not galvanized or zinc. I mean, the anchor bolt here and the nut is clearly rusting. And the hold down bolt, which this, this has clearly got some rust on it, corrosion. And of course, the top of the bolt and the nut, I'm sure, is starting to rust. And who knows what this is going to do to the hold down in the future and of course the hold down looks like it's actually either uh, some type of galvanized plating it's fine and so is the pin that is used to fasten the plate here to the concrete you can clearly see the difference between galvanized or even zinc coated materials for something like this and just regular iron um, steel something that has not been treated like I said, I don't know if this is going to be something that they will change in the future, but I can't tell you how many homes I've worked on near the beach where the framing carpenters, contractors go in there and they just use regular steel and iron. And I'm just here to say that this could be a problem in the future. I've torn homes apart by the beach and they are fine. The nails are a little rusted. You know, it's not too bad. They're still holding together. So again, I'm not going, I'm not about to suggest that this is an end of the world thing here. If you don't frame a home with galvanized materials instead of just regular steel and iron, un untreated stuff that you're going to have a problem. But it's got to, in some cases, seriously weaken the structure especially if the corrosion is ongoing. So, I mean, let's not forget, you can actually put a home together and the other parts of the home are actually going to hold the other parts together, you know, um, during the process. Drywall, stucco, siding will actually hold certain framing parts together if, the, if it does start to rust or corrode. But that's not what we want, is it? So just something to think about. If you're thinking about building a home by a beach, maybe find out what the difference. If it's only going to be a couple hundred dollars, then uh, maybe it, uh, it might be worth it.